everyone welcome back and in this video I'll be giving you some information on the like statement so this is a series of SQL fundamentals and I've taken a couple of videos before this if you want to refer them you can click on the links that I've provided in the description box so without any further delay let's get into it so what is this like statement so the like statement is used to perform pattern matching against string data so if you see in videos that I've taken before, in order to specify a particular condition on which queries and records need to be retrieved, we provide the where condition, where for example, you want the names that are starting with John, you say that when name is equal to John, and then based on this condition, records get fetched. But what happens if you have a set of characters, but you need to match a particular portion of it and retrieve records that match that particular condition. At that time, where does not help out, and that's where like can be used. So let's say that you want all the records where the customer's emails end with at gmail.com, or you want the names of customers that begin with a small c. So at these times, the like statement can be used, which matches the patterns, and it retrieves the records that match that particular pattern. So this can be achieved by using a set of wildcard characters. And if you see, there are two types of wildcard characters that are used in this like statement. One is the person. So the person replaces a sequence of characters after matching a pattern, whereas the second one is underscore. Underscore replaces a single character after pattern matching. So you just keep in mind that percentage replaces a sequence of characters, whereas underscore is a single character okay so we can see this with some examples so you'll understand it better so let's say for example you have a database you have a table where you have employee and you have columns as employee id and name now you have this use case where you want all the names that begin with a capital c so in this case you can use the like um, can, a statement and give the query as where name like and since it's working on string data, we give the quotes and it starts with a capital C because that's what we want. And we don't want, we don't want to provide any characters because we don't know what are the characters that come after C. We just want the names that start with C and we're not bothered about the other set of characters that appear after it. So at that time, as I said, percentage replaces a sequence of characters. So in that place, I use the percentage. So when this query runs, this is what I'm going to get. So if you see here in this name list, you have two names that start with capital C and you're not bothered with the other characters that appear after capital, capital C. So therefore, these two records get retrieved. Okay, Kathy and Carlton. Let's take another example where you want the names that end with a small a. So you need to mention the name which ends with a small a, that's the character that needs to be matched. And you're not bothered about the characters that appear before this small a. So in this case, we flip the percentage from the back to the forward position. And when this executes, if you see, there's one name that ends with a small a, which is Angela. And that's the record that gets retrieved. Okay. So, um, one thing to keep in mind is that the like um, statement is case sensitive. So I had been saying small a, capital A, things like that. It's because that it like when using this like statement, it's ca case sensitive. If at all you don't want to use this, you can use the I like statement where which is case insensitive. Okay, so it doesn't worry about the case that you mentioned. Just good to keep in mind. The second wildcard character that I mentioned is the underscore which replaces characters after matching a string of characters, okay? So for example, let's say that you have this work system application and you have a, a column, you have a column of version that has the version format like version number one, version number two. So if you want to find out the pattern for this, match this pattern and get the records that match this, you can use the underscore Y because you must be wondering why I don't use the percentage. So let's say that I've said like version number and I've used the underscore. You might be thinking why not I use the percentage. But as I said, percentage replaces a string of characters. 
when you are damn sure that you have a single character that comes after this number symbol then you can replace it with an underscore okay so if you execute this query you might get records that match this character or pattern which is version number one version number two so notice after this number there's one character that gets replaced let's say that there's a version that has version number c3 two characters after this number symbol so um that time instead of mentioning one underscore you need to provide two underscores because each underscore is going to replace a single character that's something to keep in mind and the most um beautiful part of this is that you can combine both the ambicent uh, sorry the um percentage and the underscore um wildcard characters to create complex patterns which generally are called as regex patterns you would have maybe heard developers saying that there is this complex regex pattern so that's something that we're going to see and learn how to create so there are much more complex patterns but just for the kick starting of, of this complex um, pattern let's take a simple example where name like and let's say i want the names that have her in them okay I don't bother like whether there's whatever characters that come after HER, but I'm interested with the names that start with um, one character and it's followed by HER. So I'm just mentioning underscore over here. HER is a pattern to be matched and I'm providing percentage which says that just add on whatever comes after it. So if I run this, let's say for a record of, for a column of name, I might get responses like this, which is Cheryl, Teresa, and Shirley. So all have HER in them. And if you see, it starts with just one character. It gets replaced with only one character. So there's one character that appears before HER, which is C for Cheryl, T for Teresa, and S for Shirley. And after HER, I've just used the um, percentage symbol, which says that just add on whatever comes after HER. So if you see here, Y, L, E, S, A, L, Y, all these get appended after HER. So these are the records that you would get if you execute these um, complex pattern queries. So let's see some examples with Postgres. So um, let's say that I've already provided a query over here. So I have select star from customers my table where first name like and I have percentage over here. So let's say I want to mention like the first name needs to end with a small a and you can combine it with logical operators as well and say and the last name like needs to also be ending with small n okay so um if you see here i've provided the like um say um keyword over here and i want the names that end with a so i've provided the percentage small a and percentage small n for the last name so if i run this query these are the records that are going to be fetched. Let's say I just want the names that start with A, okay? So let's say I want the names that start with capital A. So I give capital A percentage and I'm gonna end this and run the query. So now I get all the first names that start with capital A. So that's what I get over here, okay? So as I said, if you want, you can also use it with logical operators. So here, let's say I don't want all the names that start with capital A. So I can provide not over here. And if I run the query, except the names that start with caps A, I'm going to get all the other names. And if I'm not too choosy on the case, I'm going to, let's say with capital A, if I'm not choosy with the case, as I said, you can provide the I like state one over here and you get all the ones that start with caps A as well as small a. Okay. So um, with this, let's see how we can use the um, underscore. Okay. So now with the underscore, let's say that I want the names that, as I said, the example that we see. It needs to start with one character and it needs to have HER in it and it can have anything after that. So if I run this, I get a couple of records, which is Cheryl, Teresa, Sherry and Sherry in with I. So um, this is how it gets matched. Okay. So there's I like if I remove that and use the same like, yes, I get it. 
So um, these are few examples that you can use with um, these um, characters. So um, wildcard characters. So and you can use it to you know match certain records, write complex patterns that need to be matched, and um, you'll be good to go. So I hope that this video gave you a good understanding of like statements and. If you found this helpful, please do give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.